Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone at TerraFreeHealing.com. I hope you guys are doing really well. This is your weekly reading and it is for Virgo. So let's see what is showing up for the Virgos this week. So let's just put these there. I'm using both the Madame and Dora Oracle cards, Fortune cards, and the New Age Tarot cards. So I'm just shuffling up both decks. Okay, so we're asking for a message for the week beginning the 13th through to the 19th for Virgo. And you have the green man. The forces of nature favor you. You're the first one to get this card in your reading. You have passion and romance awaits. Then you have the moon. You'll be guided through the darkness. So, what I'm seeing for some of you guys, if I was to pick, like, or go with the most um, obvious interpretation for these cards, with the middle card being passion and romance, it could be saying that there is a relationship where you may not be knowing where this relationship is heading, where it's going to. Maybe there's some things that haven't been very clear. Maybe the status of your relationship isn't even clear. Like, maybe there's somebody that you like and you've been involved, but you haven't really put a name on what you are or you haven't really um, come out and said, okay, this person is my boyfriend or this person is something more to me. So, you, so, so for some of you guys, it could be that you're trying to kind of see where a relationship is going, where it's heading, maybe before making a solid commitment. Now, the green man is kind of saying that what you want out of this relationship or this situation can come to you at this time. So things are going your way. But again, it's just that things are kind of unclear with that moon energy coming through. I do see that there are feelings. There are a lot of feelings and emotions that are going on. But I kind of feel that maybe some of these feelings and emotions are kind of being hidden at this time. Maybe you just don't feel it's the right time to really come out with everything. Because maybe for some of you guys, things might be quite new. Or maybe things are kind of old, but maybe you've kind of reunited with somebody, but you just haven't, you know, been, you haven't put it to, it hasn't reached a point where you want to come out and really confirm, okay, this is what we are, you know, or even tell people that, you know, this is what the situation is. Um, even if this wasn't speaking about a relationship and was talking about something else, I kind of still feel that there is this sort of pattern of um, not coming out and saying everything as it is. So. But it's kind of saying that it's okay if you decide to, you know, nothing bad will happen, like nothing negative will come out of the situation because the green man is confirming that everything is okay, like, for you, like, you're fine. Um, the green man also can represent, you know, nature and stuff as well. So I don't know for some of you guys if it's, like, really good for you to, like, um, well, it's always good to go out in nature, but... Um, like maybe there's something about nature that is kind of coming through with this, this card as well. Um, maybe you guys might, maybe some of you guys might be already thinking about, you know, having a walk in a forest or visiting somewhere where there's a lot of greenery and stuff like that, visiting a new place. Um, especially if you live in the city, it's kind of saying that, you know, going out and being around, um, nature could really be good for you because there's something about it that really connects you with yourself again and that also you know connects you with mother earth and I feel like that kind of whole vibe just puts you at better spirits generally within yourself um, plus it's a good energy to kind of ground you and to um, make you just feel something about nature provides a sense of security as well um, uh, well, I know it does for me, so I think that you know, and reassurance almost uh, um, in nature. But yeah, so that could be something that could be really good for you, or maybe you decide to go out and take a walk, and you might even be meeting somebody or meeting up with somebody, and that might be where this romance stuff comes in. But then again, there is still this kind of undecidedness or something that is kind of secretive about this whole relationship or situation. Um, Yeah. If it doesn't appear like that, 
It could be saying that maybe there's something about you that is just really mysterious or you meet somebody else that is really mysterious in some kind of way. And and if that's the case, it's kind of saying that maybe you have to kind of get to know them a bit better or maybe you have to sort of figure out this situation a bit better in order to really get a full understanding of who this person is or what is really going on with them. Um, so I would kind of say also for some of you guys, even if you're not in a relationship, um, and this is not like in a romantic way, th these cards are, aren't coming to be in like talking about romance. It could be saying that if you meet somebody this week, they may, they may have a way of, of, of suckering you into something that that may not be exactly how they make it seem. So it could be that as well. So kind of be careful with things that seem too good to be true also. So let's see what advice card can come up with the new age tarot for you, Virgo. Mm, five of Cups. The Five of Cups speaks about when you're kind of, it can speak about feeling disappointed in certain situations, looking at things from a pessimistic point of view and an optimistic one, um, almost really focusing on what isn't happening in your life versus what is happening in your life. I feel like it's kind of saying that you have to be more, um, be more focused on the things that are going right for you, Virgo um don't feel like every single box in your life has to be ticked like okay i have the good relationship i have the great job i have the you know um perfect children i have all this other stuff it's kind of saying that you know if there is one area of your life where you're where you're not seeing the results that you want to see it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing and it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen it just means that we cannot have everything our way all the time like everything isn't always going to be perfect so in that case we have to be able to see the blessing even in the areas of our lives that aren't perfect and that aren't whole and um and that's why i kind of feel like this card can be connecting with the moon card because sometimes with the moon we don't always see things as they are sometimes things might be better than how you even perceive things you know sometimes we feel that things are worse than they actually are so kind of be careful with that kind of energy this week virgo so peace and many blessings to you i'll be seeing you bye